Ta-da! Hey, this is Jake from Jake's Board Reviews, and today I'm giving my first impressions on the MR Super Twin, as they say, MR Super 2 plus 1, uh, by none other than uh, the man himself, who brought uh, twin fins to the popular uh, status, Mark Richards. That was very long. Anyway, um, let's start by breaking down the board a bit. I'll start by saying that uh, for a twin fin, um, it's pretty darn good. There's nothing really wrong with it. In the two to five foot range, is it's kind of sweet spot, but I'd say definitely in one foot waves, it can go pretty decently as well. As long as it's got like a little wall, one to five foot, this board will excel. All right, this review is going a bit weird. So it has a swallow, uh, a flyer swallow tail. Um, you can see boards that are kind of modeled off it like the RNF Redux did the same thing with the kind of hip, the fly hips and the like the bites. So those are those bites on the side just like hook into the wave a bit more when you do a turn. You can feel it bite and then give you that snappy release for that kind of flow and uh those uh good feelings from a surfboard. Anyway it's kind of like a yep, got this uh single I'd say single and then it's got a double concave coming through the fins and then uh, kind of just V's out for the tail. Rocker is quite obviously quite low, um, but yeah, definitely not low enough. Like it's not an ultra groveler, so it's something that you uh, sit in a quiver. Um, yeah, I was so stoked when I saw this board. Um, it costs, I just saw it for like 450 bucks on Marketplace. Uh, the guy in Queensland was selling it and I thought I couldn't pass up the opportunity. I always wanted one of these things. I haven't yet tried it as a uh, pure twin, um, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I'll just take the stabiliser out. But fire with F FCS fins, um, sometimes you just don't want to hurt your hand taking the fin out. Anyway, no real complaints so far. I'd say, yeah, it might, it might feel even better um, just as the twin. Um, in the smaller stuff at times like uh, when it's not two foot it feels a little bit stiff like just the slightest bit I'm being so picky um, this one's a 5'8 um, it depends I usually ride my short boards at 5'10 um, so I'd recommend that you would buy this board two to three inches um, lower than your regular short board or uh, yeah I'd say you could you could definitely ride it a litre up or um, half a litre down it wouldn't make such a difference because it's packing quite a bit of foam um, in the chest and it's quite well evenly uh, distributed so yeah good paddler really great paddler um, the review will come let's try get it in by next year um, I've got to get some footage and stuff but uh, yeah the board's gone awesome and uh, so far the fins obviously recommended I haven't really changed uh, is the AMR 2 plus 1 setup. I think that will be your go to um, especially if you want to surf it in bigger waves, and you definitely can. Um, this is obviously modelled off that Super Twin um, that Mark Richards pretty much rides as his main go-to board. And since the one he rode in the 80s and the late 70s, when he brought it to, uh, obviously, that famous backdoor uh, video. If you haven't watched it, uh, if you're new to surfing and you haven't seen much of or heard much about MR, um, you probably have now because Lost have collaborated with him. Um, then you have to definitely watch him surf at Bells and uh, Pipeline Backdoor back in the day. Um, it's quite a sight to see. Anyway, that's the first impressions. I'll stop rambling on. I really like this board and we'll uh, get some footage soon. I definitely don't want to sell it, even though it is in such good condition and I'm not making a whole heap of money right now doing this or doing any other things. But uh, yeah, I think it's too, too good to sell this board. So yeah, thanks for watching. The full review will come hopefully early next year. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year.